Oh yeah, let's get cooking. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some mushrooms, zucchini, squash, onion, little potatoes, Brussels sprouts, some all-purpose Greek seasoning, and olive oil. Now we're gonna make some roasted vegetables. Here we go. All right, so what I'm doing with the uh, Brussels sprouts is I'm cutting off the stem part. I'm taking a couple of the outer layer leaves off, and then I'm cutting it in half. And that's pretty much what we want with our uh, Brussels sprouts. And I'm gonna finish up the Brussels sprouts and then cut up everything and then I'll show you how I'm seasoning it. Okay, I have all the Brussels sprouts cleaned and cut in half. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and just a little bit, just enough to coat the um, Brussels sprouts. And I'm gonna season those. Can't lose a leaf. All right. So I'm gonna take some of this Greek seasoning. Now look, y'all, if, if you don't know how much Greek seasoning to use, just start with like a few tablespoons, but season it according to the way you want. It's not super salty, it's not overly spicy. It's just a really good seasoning. It has a lot of flavor to it. But I know how much I like, which turns out to be quite a bit. I probably use about four tablespoons and then I toss it it's well seasoned now I'm gonna put it on the pan now the Brussels sprouts are ready to go now I'm gonna do the same the same technique with the rest of the vegetables and the potatoes we're gonna put them all on the pan and they're all gonna go in the oven okay so we have all the vegetables have oil and seasoning and I'm going to preheat the oven to 400 and uh, I'm going to bake it at 400 for about 40 minutes because I want as much crisp as I can get. Now with the potatoes I only used four red and four yellow. I didn't want to use the whole bag of potatoes because there's a lot of potatoes. It's just me and my husband that's going to be eating this. So uh, I did want a lot of vegetable because once the vegetables are cooked, you can put them with anything. So we're going to let this cook and we're going to get to our Cajun buttered shrimp. All right, we have a 15 ounce container of country crock butter. We got the smallest bottle of crab oil I've ever seen, a medium onion, garlic powder, and two pounds of shrimp that are already deveined, no heads, but we're gonna leave the shells on. Now let's get to making buttered Cajun shrimp. All right, so we have our shrimp, our butter, crab boil, garlic powder, and onions. What you want to do is this whole container of butter, we're going to use the whole thing because this is, you know, it's buttered shrimp. This is what you want to do. So I'm going to take the entire container of butter. And put it in here. All right. So, all of it's there. I'm going to season it up. I'm going to use about three capfuls of the Zatarain's crawfish bowl. Don't stick your nose. Oh. God, this smells so good. Now I'm gonna use three capfuls. I 
All right. It has to be the smallest bottle of crab boil I've ever seen. Four ounces. It's so adorable. All right, and I'm gonna take some garlic powder. Always check, make sure you didn't grab garlic salt because you don't want it to be too salty. All right? All right, that should be enough. Don't stump your toe on it. Now we're gonna heat this up and we're gonna get it melted down and then we're gonna put our shrimp and our onions in. Okay, so we got the butter melted. Now, I just, I wanted to get it, it's not even all completely melted, but it's liquidy enough. Now I'm gonna pour both bags of shrimp into the butter. Right. Now, remember that shrimp cooks fast, so it's not going to take too long, maybe 15 minutes to cook down. So, all right, so I got the shrimp down in that butter, and I'm going to take these sliced up onions and I'm gonna coat the top. You're not gonna be able to see the shrimp. It's just there for covering, trap in some of that heat, give it that flavor. Cause you know, onions like to sweat down. So it'll be really good. All right, now I'm gonna put the lid on this, stick it back on the stove, and we're gonna get it cooking once it reaches the proper temperature and my shrimp are just cooked. I'm gonna take it off and we'll set it aside and let the shrimp soak up all that flavor. All right, our shrimp is done. So I'm gonna bring the pot over here and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. I don't know why, but that's the smell of my childhood. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Okay, the onions are pretty uh, pretty soft they can use a little more time in the hot butter the shrimp is done that shrimp is real pretty too bad this isn't smell-o-vision because this smells so good okay so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it in this bowl right here No, it's not us. Okay, so, all right. I'm gonna take this and put it in this bowl. All right. Oh, that looks so good. I'm gonna leave those onions down under there so they'll keep, continue to cook. And when the roasted vegetables are done, we'll show it to you. Okay, so our shrimp is finished. Our vegetables are about to be done. I'm getting ready to turn off the oven and the timer and pull them out. And uh, we'll see just how pretty they are. Oh man, 
That's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Brussels sprouts have a good toast on them. The zucchini and the squash. Mushrooms and the potatoes. All done. But now let's make a plate and show you what it looks like. All right, so we're done with cooking today. What we made was roasted vegetables in the oven. You can also do it on the grill. If you have one of those uh, vegetable roasting baskets to put on the grill, that'd be great. It'll actually get better crisp. And we did buttered Cajun shrimp. And this is something from my childhood that I really enjoyed eating growing up. And uh, I want to encourage you to go out and cook. Make memories and enjoy your family while you're, you're uh, in quarantine. Enjoy your family on the weekends and make memories in the kitchen with cooking. And get out there and let's get cooking.